Hi guys, it's Granny Tonner speaking. Welcome to the City Skylines 2 tutorial video. In this video I'll show you how you can buy more land in City Skylines 2. And there are quite some differences to City Skylines 1. And therefore I'll tell you how it works. When you start a new save game, you've got quite a large chunk of land and you can build there. And then when you reach the first milestone, um, you get the possibility to acquire more uh, map tiles. And those are shown here. In the beginning, I think it's something like four or so that you get with the first milestone. And so usually they are rather generous with the amount of map tiles. And you will uh, see why in a minute. And I have 432 map tiles available to purchase because I play in the everything's unlocked mode to be able to show you all of this. So we click here in the uh, left and uh, down part of the of the screen and then we are in the purchase map tiles mode and here we can see our uh, chunk of land that we got in the beginning is already nine tiles and the tiles are very small much smaller than before so therefore we have we got this big amount of um, map tiles that we can buy and yeah when you count this here we have nine and there the maximum is 432 we get um, a total sum of 441. But if we count all those fields, this is 23 by 23, then we get much more. We get 429. And I um, calculated all this. And so in total we have 441 viable map tiles and out of existing 529 total map tiles. So there are 88 areas that are not viable. And I think it's important to know this, to keep it in mind, that even if you buy the biggest of cities, you will never be able to buy all the land. So when you start early and buy, let's say, all those um, those ocean area because you think, oh, I can buy all the land later, maybe you can't. And therefore, it's good to know that you choose wide, wisely which land you want to buy. Okay, so now I switch this off again. And there are quite some differences too to uh, the former city skylines. You can buy just by clicking here. I click here and then I can read we've got a buildable area of 0 0.4 kilometers square and we don't have fertile land on this, no oil deposits, but quite a lot of groundwater quite a lot of wood and no ore deposits. And here we get a price which is a little bit lower than 10,000 bucks. And here they write one permits used out of 432. This will be for you something like one out of four in the beginning. And yeah, and which e each milestone you get more and more uh, permits to buy land until you have all those 432. And you can add another one for example like here and then this is added up so you see the buildable area this increases and the price increases 
And if you said, oh, I don't want that, you just do a right click and then this is deactivated. And if you want to have a whole area, uh, you can just keep on clicking and uh, pulling your mouse and then you get a whole area uh, with one click. And here you can s always see the price. So the price of the tiles differ according to what you get there, whether you got, get um, or wood, oil, fertile land, groundwater and so on and so forth. And so I deactivate all those. And you could go for this water. This is only 2,500. But there is no buildable area and nothing else. And as you see, this is not connected to the first area that we have. This is something very new and special. So you could decide when you have built a small village here and you think, oh no, I want to go to the other island and build another small village. And then you could just um, buy those tiles without connection to this. So we just do this. But then you have the problem with the connections. So you can't build um, electricity lines or water lines uh, in areas that you don't own. You can buy this land, but you couldn't connect them. And you can't build streets as well and no um, railway for trains and nothing. So this chunk of land needs the uh, their own electricity, their own water supply. And if you want to have people there, you have to mm, present them <laughs> something, uh, how, how people can come there. And so I wouldn't advise to do something like that because maybe in the end, you end up with no people. And uh, this would be the main problem, I think. But what would be interesting if you say, okay, now I go onto the mainland and here we have very good connections. Uh, there is a highway and uh, I have uh, train rails and I have electricity already there. We buy all this. And this is rather useful because you have all the connection. You even have a connection to your uh, your first tiles because there is already a road. So people can come from this part of your um, of your city to this part without problems because there is a road. So. This is a very, very interesting aspect of the new um, area buying possibilities in City Skylands 2, I would say. Yeah, and then if you want to make a connection to the outer world, then you need to have um, the areas that are close to the border. So you have to have an um, area here or maybe there. There is already a connection, so maybe you don't need another one. Um, but if you want, for example, make a connection to the outer world here, then you would need this tile. And to connect this, you need a connection to all this, so for example, like that. And then you could make um, a highway going from there to there and you have a new connection to the outer world. And the same with the water connections and air, because they also have their own routes. You only can't see them normally. Um, but when you are in the 
mode of uh, making roads for water traffic or or air traffic you can see the routes and they are like like streets and roads but usually invisible okay so what i wanted to show you is how much land you can buy in the end and how much land is not buyable so therefore i just start here yeah. and then go over here t till here okay we can buy this and then i can oh it's not straight maybe like that it's easier i can buy this and then i can only buy four more tiles and i can't buy all this so this is quite a chunk of land usually you wouldn't do it like that that you leave one big area um, without buying but maybe you decide to go for okay i leave parts of the ocean um, not bought and so but you have to think about it uh, before you spend all your tiles that you may buy um, yeah where you want to grow your town and which area you can leave untouched so to say okay that are the most important things about buying land or map tiles in city skylines too I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and all the best. Till next time. Tschüss.